I start? When I was 13 years old, I was talking with my brother over dinner when he told me that there were 33 boys yet only zero girls in his C++ class. It would be an understatement to say that I was shocked. Up until then, I was surrounded by this bubble that everyone was just like me and had the same opportunities as me in STEM. That conversation popped my bubble. Now, I've been interested in STEM ever since I was first introduced to it in sixth grade. Actually, it was the summer before sixth grade and I didn't really want to go to camp, but I also didn't want to just stay at home and be bored all day. At the same time, I was really curious about what my mom, a software engineer, does for a living. And more specifically, I was curious about what she was talking about during her work calls. I begged my mom to teach me how to code, and she helped me learn simple HTML code and design my first website. Now, my first website, super colorful and filled with pictures of puppies. It's no wonder that I immediately fell in love with STEM and never looked back since. But this conversation with my brother, when he told me the gender ratio in his C++ class, I realized I was wrong, that there was a gender gap evident in STEM. This really hit home for me because when I was seven years old, my father passed away, but my mom was still able to raise my brother and I with her engineering degree. I realized that STEM isn't just a group of fields. It represents the opportunity for you to support yourself no matter what happens in life. With this belief, I embarked on my mission to bridge the gender gap in STEM. I had to foster an interest in girls for STEM and thought what better way to do so than by combining it with something that they're already interested in, like the arts. I decided not to think STEM, but instead to think STEAM. This led me to founding my 501c3 nonprofit organization, Think STEAM, to bridge the gender gap in STEAM, as in STEM plus the arts, through workshops teaching girls how to integrate their creativity in STEM, whether it's through coding animations or programming hats to light up various colors of their choice. It wasn't easy. I faced several rejections from potential board members, sponsorships, and grants, but I kept persisting, and as a result, Think Steam has reached over 600 girls in eight states and has held over 35 different Steam workshops. It's crazy to think that all of this started with a simple dinner conversation with my brother almost three years ago, and after tremendous persistence and several emails. Here I am. When I first started my organization, I faced a lot of no's from potential board members, company partners, but after facing so many hardships, I knew that I had to keep persisting. I was bound to succeed at one point. Be aware of the bubbles limiting your perspective but know that you can achieve anything to the sky and beyond as long as you keep trying no matter what happens in life. You will stamp your foot on the globe, but it all starts with your determination to do so.